All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the video for Tower Fantasy. My name is Vitus SG, and what is good with you? All right, guys, in this video, I am going to give you my budget ice DPS build. This thing is amazing. Listen, I went over this build today with a fine tooth comb for hours, just trying to make this build the best that I can make it on a budget. And then I went on live stream and played with my stream and had them give me advice about what I should do, what I should change. And listen, this build right now is absolutely perfect. I played with it on stream with the, the team. We're um, going through fighting bosses and just doing a bunch of boss fights and i was getting insane damage out with just this ice dps build and i promise you if you try this build you are going to love it now real quickly before i get into the build do me a favor if you have not already subbed to this channel with notifications on please do so so you get notified whenever i do an upload and more importantly whenever i do a live stream man the live streams have been so chill everybody comes through everybody is so helpful and it's just a really cool environment a really great community that we've built together over on my channel for tower fantasy on playstation youtube so definitely um come on over and, and hang out with us man if you got questions you can ask him doesn't matter how big or how small and you can just hang out and be a part of the community doesn't matter how long you stay for you can stay for five minutes you can stay for five hours doesn't even matter now um before i get into the building don't worry i'm gonna get to it um i got a question to ask you i got a favor to ask you as you're listening to this video do me a favor and like sort of help me to streamline these build videos right because i don't want like a 20 minute long video i want to know like as you're listening to this video tell me what information is relevant to you what information is like okay i really don't care about that and just let me know like what i can do to make these videos quicker in your opinion i'd appreciate those um suggestions down in the comments so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you the build first and then i'm gonna get right into the gameplay and this gameplay was taken from stream and you can see that i wasn't lying the numbers the damage is big all right so let's get right into it all right so these are the main weapons that i'm going to be using for the build we have yulon fiona and the gameplay that you're going to be seeing is going to be fiona with zero stars uh, i went a little crazy on the spinning about an hour ago and i got fiona to two stars so i uh, disregard that and then we have frig at zero stars as well so frig fiona and yulon a super good team for ice dpsing all right, so the first weapon that I want to talk to you about is Balmung, and how I use Frigg in this build is pretty much a buffer to give more damage to Yulan by using her Frost Domain ability and the ability to gain weapon charge because of the weapon chips I have on her. And I'll talk to you about the weapon chips in just a second, but we got to talk first about Thimble Winter, the skill that I use for Balmung. It says, slash the space around the Wanderer, dealing total damage equal to 577.5% of attack plus 1455, launching and suspending targets and gaining damage immunity while the skill is in use cool down for 30 seconds after unleashing the bull winter a large frost domain will be formed around the wanderer for 25 seconds dodge attempts will not be consumed while dodging with balmung within the frost domain grant domain of frost one listen to this when you are in the frost domain when a when using fr a frost weapon that's like yulon shatter is increased by 25 percent and frost attack is increased by 15 percent so that increases the damage of all frost weapons and that's going to be yulon in this instance now what you're going to see me you do a lot of times in this video is i'll put down the frost domain and that'll allow me to spam my dodge skill all right because there's no like dodge is dodging is not consumed by by endurance so you can just dodge wherever and you can just continue to spam the dodge skill and i use that to get my weapon charge up so i'll just read the dodge skill really quickly it's uh basically multi slash it says tap normal attack during the short perfect dodge window to trigger multi slash unleash multiple slashes at a set distance in front of the user dealing total damage equal to 172.7 percent of attack plus 436. so you do that to get your weapon charge up and because i have on the pepper chipset which the pepper chipset reads increase speed of obtaining weapon charge by for me 12.5 percent because i have at least one star in all of the three uh chip pepper chips that i have on her not the best sr chipset to run to do damage or whatever like that but in this instance i use frig to get my weapon charge up so i can hit harder with yulon all right so next let's talk about yulon now yulon has a lot of things to discuss about her character um however this is not a yulon tutorial video so i'm just going to show you the stuff that you're going to see me use in this video if you do want a yulon tutorial video let me know and i'll do my best to put one together but as far as yulon goes let's just talk about the skills and the main thing to talk about with yulon is that she has two different forms that's going to be the martial artist form and the sweeping force form in this video i'm using the martial artist form it says a true warrior sincere value and appear enhances unity that's the weapon unity's ability while it's in the main slot changes skill to fire in the hole and discharge to snow treading tiger and has powerful normal attack and skill damage so let's read what fire in the hole says okay so fire in the hole says deal damage equal to 982.8 percent of attack 
plus 2,477 to the target. Cooldown, 15 seconds. When using fire in the hole, Unity will consume up to five internal strength. When it consumes one, two, three, four, five, yada, 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 internal strength, fire in the hole will deal 1.1, 1 1.4, 1 1.8, 2.3, three times of its original damage, respectively. After using fire in the hole, increase frost damage by 12% for 30 seconds. After using fire in the hole, restore two dodge attempts. Fire in the hole can only be used while in a martial artist form. When eternal strength reaches five, reset fire in the hole's cooldown. And the discharge skill, snow shredding tiger, or snow treading tiger, it says, when the weapon it charges full or Fantasia is triggered, upon switching to this weapon, remove all debuffs from the Wanderer, dealing damage up to 1,173.1% of attack, plus 2,956 to nearby targets and strongly launching them. During this period, gain damage immunity for 1.5 seconds. Snow Treading Tiger can only be used while in martial arts form. So you're gonna see me use Baomung, get the Frost Domain up, switch to Yulon, hit a couple of attacks, get the dodge skill up, and then hit that Snow Treading Tiger. So when it comes to dodge skills, let's talk about what dodge skills. So this one is called Impossible Feet. Use normal attack during the short period after dodging to trigger Impossible Feet, dealing damage equal to 177.6% of attack, plus 448 to nearby targets. Sweeping Clouds is the uh, other dodge skill you're going to see me use a lot of. This has a nice little animation. She does like a little break dance. It says, uh, and then to do this, you have to use the directional pad plus attack, uh, plus dodge, plus attack. So dash towards your target, or move towards your target, hit the dodge, and then you press attack. So it says use normal attack during the short perfect dodge window. Tap an arrow button before dodging to trigger Sweeping Clouds. Dealing damage equal to 167.6% of attack plus 422 to nearby targets. Sweeping Clouds can be used in either martial arts or sweeping form. And another skill for you launch you're probably going to see me use in the gameplay is going to be the Forest Piercing Swallow. Forest Piercing Swallow can only be used while in martial arts form. While on the ground, tap and hold normal attack when using the first to third normal attacks to trigger Forest Piercing Swallow. Deal damage equal to 62.8% of attack plus 158 and draw in nearby targets. Then deal damage equal to 146.6% of attack plus 369 and knock targets back. After using Cloud, Sword, and Kite, use Normal Attack to also trigger Forest Piercing Swallow. And these are the matrices that I use for my Unity right now. So I've got on Crow, two piece of Crow says, increase crit damage to targets with less than 60% HP by 24%. And then we've got Frig, the chipset Frig, uh, it's called uh, Iron Mind and Body, and I've got two of those. It says, two piece set, increase Frost Attack by 8% for 10 seconds when switching between Frost weapons. This set effect works in the offhand slot, but only the set with the highest star rating will take effect. All right, so um, basically, when Whenever I switch from Balmung to Unity, I get that extra frost damage boost. All right, and then finally, I'm gonna to talk to you about Fiona. I'll just tell you what I do with her, and I'm not gonna take too much time with Fiona because there is a lot of information to cover with Fiona that I don't wanna get into in this video. Um, but basically for Fiona, for the extra skills I've got with her, I use Vortex in the first slot, and then for the second active slot that I can use whenever, it's gonna be Aqua Shackles so I can hold the boss or whatever I'm fighting in place so we can just deal damage without threat of reprisal until the uh, Shackles is over with. And the weapon chips that I'm going to be using on my Fiona is going to be a three-piece NA chipset. When dealing damage greater than 100% of attack, deal additional damage equal to 60% of attack, cooldown for three seconds. And I have one like extra SSR chip for the stats over here on her uh, heart or emotion thing. All right. For the making of the gameplay that you're about to see, all of these weapons were at level 90 at no stars. All right, let's get it. All right, so put out the Frost Domain. It looks like my Yulon is ready to go, so there's no shield up, so I'm gonna smack him one time. That was a really good ult. All right, let me back up off of him. All right, let me see, lock him up again. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Switch back to my Fiona. All right, back up, wait till that shield is down. I'm just gonna back up and wait till the shield is down because he is a devastating character and I can't do anything with him when his shield is up anyway. Back up. Okay, shield is gone. All right, let's go, Yulon. That wasn't that much damage. I don't think Frost Domain was gone. Oh, Frost Domain was still up. All right, let's go here and hit Fiona's ult. Give myself a little bit of healing. Let's lock him up. All right, let's go, Fiona. And then let's go back to Freak. Put my Frost Domain up. 
and build up some weapon charge. I got seven seconds on my lock. Oh, no, he froze me. Crap. Back up, back up, back up. Give myself a little bit of heals. Okay, cool. Healer came in clutch right there. Brought heals to me. Okay, I can back up because his shield is up. This is where a nice ranged weapon would come in handy when that shield is up, man. You can sort of do ranged attacks with her. Okay, the shield is down. Let's go. Put that frost domain up there again. And then go and hit him with this. Lock him up. Oh, crap. I really got to get better at locking him up. Oh, shoot. Just back up, back up, back up. He says maximum. All right. I hit my ult so I can get some heals. Okay, put him in prison. Back up off of him. All right, there we go. Switch to Frig. Put Frost Domain up. And then go Yulon. Let's get some big damage right here. 95k. Not bad, but not the best. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's lock him. And we are jabbing him. 20k punches. Go Frig. Shields up, back up. I'm backing up, waiting to get the benefit of heals. I'll lock him up a little bit. And let us take some food right in the middle of the fight. Heal. Nothing wrong with healing right in the middle of the fight. Okay, let's go Frig. Cross domain is up. And then Yulon ult. Let's go. 120k crit right there. That's fantastic. Let's lock him up again. No, you don't get to move. You don't get to move. All right, Frig again. Build that weapon charge. And then let's go Frig. Uh, Yulon ult. 87k. Still not that good. It didn't crit. Oh, oh, time to back up. Ooh, I didn't back up enough. Okay, switch to Fiona, my healer. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up from that. Oh, he is enraged right now, so I gotta stay away from him while he's enraged. No, stop. Don't move. Okay. Right, good. We got that healing ult. That's nice. Okay, Frig is up. Where'd he go? Crap. Oh, he is still enraged. We gotta calm him down somehow. How do we calm him down? Looks like half the team got taken out. Okay, he's still on. Yeah, he's got two bars left. He's on his second bar. Or second to last bar. Let's lock him up right there. And then... Is he just gonna stay enraged forever? We gotta calm this guy down. Let's go free. And Frost Domain is now up. He has no armor. I gotta get my weapon charge up. Pepper Chip set. Oh, what? What? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, lock him. And then Yulon. 178,000 crit damage. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep up the pressure. Keep up the pressure. He has no shield. Destroy him. No, lock him in place. He's back in Fury. All right, let's help everybody out with a nice Fiona ult. Oh my god! I don't know what the heck just happened right there. Good job, team. That is what I'm talking about. All right.